Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. I need resupply and point for done. Going at you. Hang tight. You want something? You let me know. Show me what you got. Hope you. I'll be with that. See you later. Crossfire and point for done. You got it. We'll be around shortly. <laughs> Devil got you now, motherfucker! We got us a gunfight!
I'm coming in and the butcher's going out. What about you? Ah, oh, God damn it! All right, all right, I'm in. Irish will be in touch. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Offer's still standing. My boys are on the way. Slash that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. and salutations, and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robodo? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. make him more scared of you.
What do you know about the meatpacking plant? All the shops paying protection up to the boss. I know where they are. You run with me now.
All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. <laughs> Say goodnight to the asshole. Bastard yeah. got me trapped! Run for cover! He's unloading on him! I'm empty! Approach with extreme caution. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. You looking to stir up trouble? What's he gonna do with that piece? Going going to bail you! Flee! Look what the cat drug is! Now you're done! We all ah. get a piece of it, but I'm finished! That fucker's my- Fucking thing is gonna hurt me! Ah. Ammo. Ah. Ah. You 
Careless. I'm in. Paying up the Sunny Blue. It's really fucked him up with the boot. Sure. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinolas hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupting his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. Send someone to point the dump. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. Use it.
balls to fuck with Sunny Blue? Or did some colored fella? The fuck's a color doing what? Oh, 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 oh. uh, gotta move! Oh. Got you now, dipshit! Over here now. Did we lose him? Quit taking him. Running for cover. You ain't never walked. Let my dog go now. Who's got shells? Fucking eyeballing him right now. Back is definitely where he was headed. Nothing. Try over there. Yeah. Slip behind him. Got you now, dipshit. Ah, he just fucking nicked me. Give me a hand here. Those boys were nothing. Try me on for size, big boy. your mind You could be the 
Bratwurst King in New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kind of like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. How did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up Ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. All right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lot? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? Ah, oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. On the left! On the left!
Give him a hit on the left. <sighs> Don't forget the little surprise I cooked up for those giddy fucks. There's a fat bastard now. Hey, I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Save a bullet or two. The nigger and the mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. 